Hello students, in today's class we are going to learn relational operators, logical, bitwise operators, input-output statements and data types. So first let us start with relational operators in C language. Relational operators are used to find the relation between two variables. That is, relational operators are used to compare two values. Sometimes we need to perform some operations or calculations based on various criteria. So in this case we need to compare the values and there we make use of relational operators. For example, highest marks scored by a student, maximum sales done by a particular branch. So here we need to compare various values. In C language we have various relational operators which are shown in this table greater than sign, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to, equal to and not equal to. Let us know how these operators work. Let us assume that x has the value 10, y has the value 20. x greater than y. This operator checks whether x is greater than y. If x is greater, it is going to return true, otherwise false. In this case, 10 is not greater than 20. So, it returns the result false. Every relational operator will generate the output either true or false. Greater than or equal to checks whether x is greater or equal to y. If the value of x is 20, in this case it is going to return true because x is not a greater but it is equal to y so greater than or equal to will generate true when x is either greater or it is equal to y in the similar way we have less than and less than or equal to if x is less than y it returns true in this case 10 is less than 20 so it returns the output true. Less than or equal to will return true when x is either less or it is equal to y. Next we have equal to which checks whether two values are equal or same or not. If both are equal it returns true otherwise false. In this case it returns false as the value of x is 10 and y is 20. Opposite to that is not equal to. It returns true when the values are not equal and returns false when the values are equal. So in this case 10 is not equal to 20. So the output of this expression will be true. Next we have logical operators in C. Logical operators are used to perform logical operations on the given values or expressions. So the logical operations in C are AND, OR and NOT. Logical AND is denoted by double ampersand sign or is denoted by two straight lines and not is denoted by exclamation sign. So how these operators work? Let us understand with example. Logical and it checks both the conditions. If both the conditions are true, it returns true otherwise false. 
so here the expression given are salary greater than 50,000 experience greater than 10 if both these expressions are true for example if the salary is 60,000 and experience is 15 in this case as both are true it returns true if any one condition is false or if both the conditions are false in that case it is going to return false next logical or logical or it returns true when any one or both these conditions are true it returns false only when both the conditions are false for example if department entered by the user is 8 in this case the second condition is true department entered is 8 8 is equal to 8 so it returns true if the department entered is 4 in this case the department is neither 5 nor it is 8 so in this case it is going to return false next logical operation is not if the given expression is true the not operator returns false and if the given expression is false the not operator returns true that is it complements the reason bitwise operators bitwise operators are used to manipulate data at bit level that means bitwise operators perform operations on the values in their binary form that is zeros and ones form like testing the bits shifting bits to left or right bitwise operators are not applied to float or double data type to perform operations on bit level c language has operators those are bitwise and bitwise or bitwise xor shift left shift right and one's complement so let us understand how these operators go bitwise and bitwise and returns one if both the digits in the input are one otherwise it returns zero so in this example a is assigned the value 1101011001 b has the value 1001110 when we perform bitwise and on a and b then the output will be this here 10 will return 0 00, 0 will return 0 0 1 0 1 1 will return 1 1 1 returns 1 0 0 returns 0 1 0 returns 0 1 1 returns 1 this is how all the bitwise operators perform operations at bit level bitwise or bitwise or returns 1 if any one or both the digits in the input are 1 it returns 0 only when both the digits are 0 so in this example you can see that wherever in the input both the digits or any one digit is 1 it is returning 1 it returns it returns 0 where both the digits are 0 in case of bitwise XOR it returns 1 if any of the digit is 1 if both the digits are 1 and if both the digits are 0 in that case it returns 0 once complement 
once complement is the unary operator that is it has only one operand if the value stored in a is 1101001001 so here when we perform complement operation on a wherever there is 1 it returns 0 and wherever there is 0 it returns 1 next operator we have is shift left operator shift left or left shift operator shifts all the bits towards left left by a certain number of specified bits shift left is denoted by two less than signs for example a shift left 2 in this case the bits stored in a will be shifted twice so after shifting the output will be this so here when the bits are shifted twice after shifting this 0 will come at this position 1 comes at this position 1 comes at this position and so on and the vacated digits will be replaced with 0 in the similar way we have shift right it works same as shift left it shifts the digits towards the right so in the example the digits stored in a bits stored in a will be shifted twice towards the right so in this case at the way wicketed places zeros will be shifted and all the bits will be shifted here after understanding operators and the other c tokens let us understand what are expressions expression is a specific combination of operators constants and variables which are arranged as as per the rules of the language and these expressions provide an output let us see some examples of expressions c is equal to a plus b so here a b and c are the variables as we have discussed in previous class variables are nothing but these are the names given to the storage areas where the values are stored si is equal to p into t into r divided by 100 in this expression we have si p t r variables equal to is the assignment operator this is the division operator and 100 is the constant value t is equal to m into n minus 5 so these are some examples of expressions the expressions which are written in the program are solved or executed based on the precedence or order of evaluation so what is this precedence or order of evaluation it is the priority of operator considered by the compiler to solve a given expression in a program compiler performs calculations in the following sequence in an expression first priority is given to the operators multiplication division and modulo division so first these operations are performed if they are specified in an expression after this the second priority is given to the addition and the subtraction operator and the third priority is given to the assignment operator in an expression there can be 
two or more operators which have the same priority. In that case, the operations are executed from right to left. For example, in the expression SR is equal to P into T into R divided by 100, both the operators have the same priority. In this case, first it multiplies P, T and R and then the output will be divided by 100. In this expression, as the multiplication has the highest priority, multiplication will be done first and then subtraction is performed. This is how the expression is evaluated based on the precedence or the order of evaluation. Next topic we are going to discuss today is data types. Data type indicates the type of data that a variable can hold. The data may be numeric or non-numeric. Data type specifies what type of values a variable should hold. The data types available in C are categorized into primary or built-in data types, derived data type and user defined data type. So in this semester we are going to use the primary or built-in data type and in the derived data type we will be using arrays. So first let us discuss about the primary or built-in data types. Built-in data types are the basic data types present in C. The first data type is int which is used to declare variables which can hold integer constants. Integer constants are the values without the fractional part that is the whole numbers and it has a size of 2 bytes. Next data type is float. Float is used to declare variables which can hold real or floating point constants that is the values with the fractional part. It has a size of 4 bytes. Example of integer variable is row number. So here row number is declared as int and it is initialized the value 1. So like this any whole number can be assigned to the row number. In the similar way float data type is used to declare average because average can have the fractional part in it. So in this example average is assigned the value 89.90. Next is double which is used to declare variables those hold real or floating point constants like float data type but it differs in size. It has got double the size of floating type that is 8 bytes. Next built-in data type present in C is char, C-H-A-R, which is used to declare character type variables, those hold character constants. It has a size of 1 byte. For example, character division is equal to B. Division is declared of type character and it is assigned the value b which is given in single quote so the character values are always included in the single quote it can be an alphabet digit or any special symbol can be assigned to the character variables next topic for today is io statements 
that is input output statements input output statements are categorized into formatted io statements and unformatted io statements today let us discuss about the formatted io statements formatted io statements use formatted functions which input the data from keyboard and display the output on the monitor in a formatted manner they allow user to control input output as per his or her requirements formatted input statement in c is scan f and the formatted output statement is printf so scan f is used to input the data or to read the data from the keyboard and printf is used to display or to output the message or information or output on the screen so let us learn about these scanf and printf statements first is the scanf statement scanf is called as the formatted input statement which is used to read the data entered through an input device such as the keyboard and it allows the user to enter the data through a fixed format so only it is called as the formatted input statement the syntax used by the scanf statement is scanf open the round bracket in double quotes format specifier or conversion character comma ampersand variable round bracket complete and it is terminated by the semicolon so in this syntax format specifier or conversion character is nothing but it is used by compiler to identify data type of variable ampersand variable is the predefined variable ampersand sign is called as the address of operator so whenever the value is entered in which variable that value must be stored is specified by using this ampersand variable let us see some examples of the scanf statements scanf percentage d ampersand a so percentage d indicates here integer so this statement accepts an integer value and that value will be stored into the variable a percentage d is called as the format specifier and a is the variable so the format specifiers for the other data types are for float the percent format specifier is percentage f for character data it is percentage c and for string that is a set of characters percentage s in this second example various format specifiers are used to read integer string character and floating type of values so the statement here is scanf in double quotes percentage c percentage s percentage c and percentage f it should not be separated by commas or spaces or by any other special character and the order should be the same as the variables so percentage d indicates here the roll number required is of type integer percentage s will accept the name and it will be stored into the variable name for string values the ampersand sign is not used in c programming percentage c indicates here the division and percentage f accepts 
the floating type value which is stored into the variable average. These statements will be more clear to you when we use them in C program. Formatted output statement that is printf which is used to print the data onto an output device such as monitor. It shows the output information in a fixed format. Syntax used by the printf statement is printf in double quotes the format string comma variable. Format string contains displayable characters that is the printable characters percentage prefixed conversion characters that is percentage C percentage F percentage D and escape sequences with slash sign variable is the predefined variable let us see some examples of the printf statement printf in double quotes enter two values slash n is the escape sequence so this statement will display on the screen the message enter two values and at slash n is present here the next message or the next information will be displayed on the next line slash n indicates here next line print f percentage d sum this statement output or prints the value integer value which is stored into sum print f addition is percentage d sum this statement displays addition is and at the place of percentage d it displays or it shows the value which is stored in sum in integer format printf addition of percentage d and percentage d is percentage d comma a comma b comma sum so here with the addition if the programmer wants to print the values input values also then we can make use of this syntax so here at the place of first percentage d value which is stored in a will be displayed at the place of second percentage d the value stored in b will be displayed whereas at the place of third percentage d the value stored in the sum will be displayed assume that the value stored in a is 10 and the value stored in b is 20 so after calculating the addition the message printed by the printf statement will be addition of 10 and 20 is 30 this is how the printf statement is used to display the output or the information on the screen. Next is comments. Comments in C are the statements written by programmers during coding programs so that the source code becomes easily understandable when it is observed at the later stage. Comments can appear anywhere in the program and com compiler does not execute comments. Comments are the non-executable statements. Comments are usually written to give title for a program or block of code. Comments are written at places which may arrive confusion during post observation the syntax of comment is it starts from slash star and it ends with star and slash some of the examples 
of comments add given here slash star program to add two numbers star and slash this can be added at the beginning of the program to inform what that program does or performs in a similar way the comments can be written anywhere in the program comments can be written for a block of code or for a statement suppose in a in the program we have the statement remainder is equal to a mod b so the comment can be added for the statement as it returns remainder so by reading the comments what that expression calculates can be easily recalled by the programmer so here we have completed discussion on the basic concepts which, which you need to know to write a C program from next class we will design some programs